Hey party people, this is Jeremy from Jumbo Live Plays Games. We are still here at the Cosmos booth. Now we're taking a look at Dimension. Um, this looks really interesting too. This plays one to four. One to four all players, that's all right, correct. Let's talk about it because that makes me excited. <laughs> Always makes me excited when there's a solo play yeah, in the game. Yeah, it makes me excited when really, I see a solo really. play. So right. this game is a, uh, a puzzle game and what we're attempting to do is stack these spheres to form a pyramid in the center of the board. Now, you're gonna be timed. Everybody's gonna have a certain amount of time to be able to complete this task. But each round, the game's gonna last over six rounds. In each round, six new cards are gonna be dealt to the center here. Now, these cards are restrictions on how you play the game. So, for example, this card over here states that only one orange sphere may be in my pyramid. Yeah. This one here states that no orange sphere may touch any other orange spheres. Okay. Green spheres may not be on top of any other sphere, which means I need to make sure so, yeah. that these green right. spheres are, the are on the base. However, this means that nothing can be on top of a blue sphere. So that blue sphere needs to be the cap of right. my pyramid. Right. This states that all of the black spheres need to be next to greens. Has to be touching, which means, uh-oh, I've already those. messed up yeah. here, so I might have to swap these two okay. so that way they're all touching. And then this one here shows that I need to have more green than white spheres in my pyramid. Oh, now, wow. you'll be getting points for each and every one of the spheres that are in your pyramid. Okay. Any of the rules that you break is going to be a negative two points. Now, if you are able to complete the round without breaking any of the rules, and using at least one of each sphere, then you're gonna gain one of these bonus tokens. Now these bonus tokens, if you have none at the end of the game, you're gonna score negative points. So you wanna get more and more of these bonus tokens, so that way, at the end of the game, you're not gonna score in the negatives. You'll have to have at least three of them at the end of the game. Okay. To not have any negative have points. Negative. Okay. Yeah. So it's really kind of difficult because you're under the gun, you're on a timer, and you're trying to stack these and you're trying to weigh out. Do I try to do I try to complete all of these? Right. Do I try to get all of them in the tower? Or do I let the pyramid go uncompleted just so that I could make sure that I follow all of these rules? Yeah. So it's really, really awesome That's because really right awesome. now I'm to a point where if I put this other white, I'm going to have an equal number of whites than right. greens, which isn't going to work right. because right. it's not equal to, it's greater than. Wow. But if I put another one of these orange wow. ones in, I'm breaking this rule here. Right. So you really have to balance out building this within that time limit. Right. And every single round at the end, these are going to go away. That's nuts, dude. And then you're going to get six new ones. Now here, it says that I need a total of four, four spheres between black and, black and white. Okay. So I could either have them even. Right. Or I could have three and one in any variation. But if I only end up having three, it does not meet. Because right. you need to have that exact amount. Every player has the same number of spheres in orange, black, green, white, and blue. So everybody's under the exact okay. same amount of they're time. they're simultaneously doing that? Simultaneously yeah. building these oh, wow. pyramids. And you would think, oh, well, maybe a player might look at somebody else to see how they're doing, but you don't have time. You don't have time. Don't have that time. two minutes goes by way yeah. faster wow. than you could imagine. Wow. As you're trying to match every single one of these different, oh, look at that. Yeah, We've got nuts. three that different crazy. ones. That's not going to be a high scoring round. That's not going to be a high scoring <laughs> round because now yeah. I can only have one blue, which means I need three green here. Right. But nothing could be on top of green, so I got to make sure the greens are on the second level. Right. But the greens can't touch each other, so what do yeah, you do? That's nuts. It's absolutely amazing. So this can be played solo, you said. This right? can be played solo, so essentially you're on a timer okay. uh, in order to complete a certain number, of I believe, of tasks. Oh, okay. And it's, I mean, it's absolutely incredible. Yeah. So the players start with a certain amount of victory points at the beginning of the game because of the fact that you can go into the negative. Right. So you want to make sure you, they want to make sure you're going to have a certain amount of victory points because you may start with say 20 
but then you only got four cubes out, so you got so four yeah. points, but those broke rules. Okay. So now you're gonna dip into the negatives. Okay. So eight is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, this is fantastic. Well, thank you so much for this overview. This is Dimension from Cosmos, and this is here at the con. This is an official release, or has it been out? Uh, it's been out for some time. There okay. are Dimension tournaments that yeah. uh, that are have been okay. held. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, man. What's the MSRP on this one? MSRP on it is forty nine ninety five. Okay. Thank you so much for giving an overview. This is Jeremy from Jumbo Lab Plays Games, and we are still at PAX Unplugged 2018. Thank you for your time, party people.